Now what I'm about to give you are prophetic instructions. I want you to just listen to them. Instructions are enhancers to destiny manifestation. He says, my son, pay attention to my words. He says, incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst of thee. They are life, not to everyone, to those who find them and health to their flesh. Hallelujah. Those who train pilots are not called coaches. They are called instructors because they give them direct precepts. If you keep with it, you will soar in the air. You compromise, you may crash in a moment. Hallelujah. And the Lord gave me this just to encourage you on this over dwelling on the past. And then the next is a rundown of a few prophetic instructions. Let me just walk with the time that I have and then I finally speak over your life. Honestly, this is the year your life will really produce results. You see, when you hear words like this, don't get used to entertainment on TV and just believe everybody who is speaking is entertaining. No. Gabriel looked at Zechariah and said, I am Gabriel that came from the presence of God. Find out where men are coming from before you vet what they are saying. No. Not everybody is a joker. I say it again. In the name of Jesus, the one who called an anointed man, the one who has so given us graces this year, 2024 may my god surprise you may my god surprise you may my god surprise you you believe what you are hearing let's get a few prophetic instructions and then we'll pray thank you jesus Just hold for me now the person who shouts loud under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. You just hold them so that they don't run around. Oh, oh, oh. rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Spirit of wisdom. Rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me. Rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me. Rest on me. Let your power for signs and wonders. Rest on me. Rest on me, oh, 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 rest on me, oh, oh, oh rest on me. Oh. There is a young man here. Please just allow me to do my thing. The Spirit of God keeps prevailing over me. There is a young man here. You have not started ministry yet, but this year. There is an anointing that has been searching for you. You have been quiet walking in the spirit. You are in this place. The Lord is asking me to speak that grace over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus for that young man, silent in the cave of Adulam, being walked upon by the spirit, let this anointing that will begin to announce you in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, Paris Kani Shalaka Pariata, Ebrakate Barekes Kadinas Kabai, Karia Shabareke Pariata, Elekate Fresca Benekapai, Krika Bateka Bekataka Pariata, Ebratech Kabe, Etras Kebeta Kariata, Kaprika Pus Kariata. May you arise and shine by the Spirit of Grace. May you arise and shine by the Spirit of Grace. In the name of Jesus Christ.
instruction number one please sit and write if you can you want to experience advancement in life and destiny there are requirements the requirements are summarized in two words Philippians 3 14 give it to us please I press I press not I assume not I wish one thing this one thing I do forgetting the things that are behind and reaching for the things that are before me just because they are before me does not mean I will get there he says I press not we press I press there is a force there is an energy there is a commitment of responsibility I press towards the mark these instructions will help us to press tonight are we ready number one this is the first instruction God gave me to bring to us restore genuine spirituality to your life restore genuine spirituality to your life you want to soar you want to be a manifestation of the glory of God restore genuine spirituality to your life restore the God first order back to your life in 2nd Chronicles 26 and verse 5 let's hurry up 2nd Chronicles 26 and verse 5 talking about Uzziah the Bible says he sought God in the days of Zechariah who had the understanding in the visions of God it says as long as he sought the Lord help me God made him to prosper he never said he prospered men do not prosper by themselves there are no self-made men in the kingdom God is the maker not just of the heavens and the earth he makes men he says follow me and I will make you you are made by who you follow he says follow me and I will make you it's not only the heavens and the earth that he makes he's still making men restore genuine spirituality let this be the year that you refuse to be careless with your spiritual life don't play church no God is not a magician God is not a most believers just play a bracatabra with God and expect to suddenly stumble into grace and glory no your life will eventually be a reflection of your spiritual health restore your spiritual life means return back to the place of prayer genuine prayer return back to the place of communion and fellowship with God return back to the place of the study of the word for edification that is the apostolic order that was left to us in Acts chapter 2 and verse 42 the Bible says and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and in the breaking of bread and in fellowship and in prayer hallelujah there is no gift of growth in the Bible growth is not a gift did you hear what I said there are many enhancers that bring growth but growth in the Bible is not a gift growth is an intentional engaging of the ministry of prayer the ministry of the word communion with the spirit and then you grow it says I commend you Acts chapter 20 I believe and verse 32 and now brethren I commend you to God he says and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up able to do what not just able to give you an information the word of God is beyond the newspaper the word of God is beyond a history book this Bible you see ladies and gentlemen is beyond a history book it is able to build you up then it gives you after you are built up because an heir for as long as he's a child the Bible says he differed nothing from a slave even though he be Lord of all let this be the year you don't give excuses for prayerlessness create a systemic approach to your prayer life when you are too busy to pray you have signed up for defeat when you are too busy to learn the ways of God the ways of God precede his glory if you do not know the ways of God you can never encounter his glory 
Say in the name of Jesus, I obtain grace to pray, to fast, to study, to fellowship with God and with the brethren. There is no superstition to spiritual growth. It is a predefined formula. The health of your prayer life, the health of your word study life, your personal communion with God. Are we together? Yes. Your corporate fellowship with the brethren, coming to church. These are the ingredients that equal growth. You miss them the same way you do not have a balanced diet and there are consequences. One vitamin can go wrong in your body and it can shut down your whole body. Let this be the year you commit yourself. I will be in church. I will serve. Not just come on one benches and go back. I will be, I will listen for instructions like you are listening now. Spirituality. Can I tell you this end time is the zone where there are no in-betweens. You are either serious with God or you pay the price seriously. Hallelujah. Spirituality pays. The arsenals of darkness are bringing their finest weapons to see how they can bring the mighty down. Destroying destinies. Anyone that carries prophecy, they are after. You have to fortify yourself, not out of fear, but these are the survival strategies of the end time. You can't afford to just be claiming and shouting and no, no, no. Invest in prayer. Take time to pray. Take time to fast. Take time to study. Let me speak to co-laborers in the gospel by the privilege of God's grace. Can I tell you, yesterday's grace will not be sufficient for today's assignment. No, you will need to press. You don't just tell somebody be healed and then you be healed because you saw it in the Bible. No. This is one year where there will be a clear separation between those who are serious with God and those who are playing games. A clear separation like night and day. There are things you cannot fake. The glory is one of them. You can fake power, but not the glory. So God is speaking to someone here. Perhaps you are coming for the first time. Welcome to David's Christian Center. But the Lord is charging you. The, the overall excelling of your life is dependent on the health of your spiritual growth. Don't love money more than you love God. You will not get both of them. Anything that takes the place of God, God will fight it, even if he's the one that gave you. Did you hear what I said? Number two, let's hurry up. Let's use the next five minutes or so just to get that. Is someone learning already? So restore genuine spirituality to your life. You want to soar. You want to advance. You want to gain the momentum that gives you an edge. Number two, contend for light. Superior spiritual illumination. This is the year you would deal with ignorance without mercy. Did you hear what I said? Deal with ignorance without mercy damage ignorance from your life number one ignorance as far as the ways of god are concerned but number two ignorance of the laws of life and destiny even as touching your endeavor there are two kinds of knowledge you need to pursue number one is the knowledge of god your spiritual knowledge but that is not enough number two is that you must strive for mastery hallelujah Nobody becomes a champion by mistake. No. There are participants by mistake, but there are no champions by mistake. You will never find someone winning the Olympic by mistake. Mm -mm. Many believers are ignorant. We claim many things we do not have the light component to defend. John 1, 5, And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Are we together? Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. Arise, it says, shine. For, not, not for your time has come. Your time can come and you will still remain there. Ask the man at Bethesda. Every time and every year was his time. But because lights did not come for him. Even though it was his time, he remained there. It is not your time has come. It is your light has come. 
You don't arise because your time has come. You don't arise because it's a new year. You arise the day your night is over. And the night is over with the coming of light. And he called the, the light day and the darkness he called night. That means in God's economy, night is not when it is 6 p.m. Night is any time there is no light. Are we together now? Yes. You can be 12 midnight physically and in the spirit you are in the day because you are walking in the light. Fight smallness. Many believers know something small about prosperity, something small about consecration, something small about fasting. Small, 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 small. First Corinthians 8 and verse 2. Please give it to us. First Corinthians 8 and verse 2. Let's read together. Ready? One to read. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. There is a standard of light connected to every result you desire. Let me repeat myself for your hearing. There is a standard of light connected to, for every result you desire. If we look at light in terms of currencies, how many of you know that if you have 10,000, you have money? Am I right on that? Can that buy you a plate of food? Yes, generally. But can that buy you a car? Can that pay your house rent? Can it buy you a house? But if I say all those who have money stand up, you will join them. It's when it comes to do to purchase realities, you will see the deficiency of what you are holding. So many of us are bragging around, I have light, but it does not purchase anything in the spirit. Because there were many lights that were made, but he made two great lights. One to rule the day and the other to rule the night. Then he made the stars also. And even among the stars, he says, one different from another in glory. Let this be the year you contend for light. Damage ignorance. Buy books. Go and settle down with materials. Are we together? Minimize social media and transfer that time to your spirit man. I'm not saying don't enjoy social media, but stop worshiping it and go and settle down and worship God and build your life. Don't pretend results. Get actual results. Why fake what can be real? Are we learning? I'm not preaching. No, these are just instructions and then we'll wrap up. Contend for light. Come to church. And don't come to church with your hands on your pocket and you are just saying, let me hear if there is one or two things I will learn. Those kind of people never rise. Do you know why? There is no intention to receive. You come with your paper, your notebook. If it's your phone, make sure that it does not distract you. What is God saying through my pastor? I tremble at his word. I receive with meekness the engrafted word. And in no time you will see yourself soaring. Champions are champions because of the abundance of light that they have. The Bible calls it marvelous light. Number three. What is the third in prophetic instruction connected to your advancement? This year, you will require strength and courage. Destiny actualization demands strength and courage. Joshua chapter 1, 5 to 7. My time is up. Let's write that very quickly. Joshua 1, 5 to 7. A mandate was about to be given to Joshua now. And he says, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you, and I will not forsake you. You will think after such an instruction, you should say, That's it. God has spoken. Next verse. God now said what you would do, but for you, it says be strong and of good courage there is bad courage courage that is born out of ignorance and pride is bad courage it will always lead to pain and disappointment good courage is the one that is derived from knowledge and stability because wisdom and knowledge are stabilizers of life and destiny are we together be strong Many of you will need to dare things this year. Don't be afraid of failure. If you fail while trying, you are more honorable than the one who was afraid of starting. 
Many times when you try, you will find out that the failure you are afraid of is also afraid of you. Weary failure. Go and start the business. Go and register the company. Take steps of faith. Be courageous. Are we together? Some of you are dealing with issues that probably you've carried over from last year. Maybe financial issues. Take the courage to face it. Don't run away from challenges. Obtain grace. Where you need to take responsibility, take responsibility. Where you need to plead for mercy, plead for mercy. Running away from problems has never solved them. Did you hear what I said? Running away from problems, financial problems. There are people who drink their way hoping that the bills will disappear. And they wake up and find out that all they have is bills and a headache. You are not free. Obtain grace and say this money thing let's face it i'm not going to be afraid of it again this issue of the devil destroying my wife my children my life face everything face your fears with courage knowing that god stands by you as a mighty terrible one number four is someone getting blessed are you ready for number four build and invest in destiny defining relationships write that down please Build and invest in destiny-defining relationships. I'm giving you prophetic instructions. Build and invest. I want you to write those words. I'm not careless with words. I didn't say go and get relationships. Build and then invest in destiny-defining relationships. There are relationships that are destiny-defining relationships. I need not tell you this is a church that has gained mastery understanding family life and relationships is true everything in life excels on the strength of relationships your relationship with God is what gives you access to his wisdom his favor and all the possibilities in the kingdom the reality of the afterlife is relationship dependent not achievement dependent relationships are that powerful hallelujah I wish I had the time I would have taught you that God prospering men even in this end time one of the ways that God gives people acceleration is to connect them to those who have arrived or those who are ahead did you hear what I said there are many results that do not come based on personal achievements they come based on connections every time God wants to give men speed he shifts you from the realm of achievement to the realm of connection you can be Abraham or Lot if you are not Abraham, make sure you respect Abraham because your prosperity is tied to him. There is the Lot dimension of wealth and there is the Abraham dimension of wealth. All of them prospered. God called Abraham. Lot chose to connect with wisdom. As foolish as Lot was, he still prospered because we do not see him making any personal decisions. His first official decision that he made when he parted from Abraham landed him in Sodom and the subsequent decisions got him there and stabilized him there so he was not as wise as his wealth it was his relationship that was a leverage are we together it takes time to learn certain things that make you truly successful so when God wants to give you acceleration he connects you to people who have paid the price so that while you are learning you can arrive it's true most people do not know the power of relationships you need to invest in relationships invest in quality strategic relationships i'm here in your church today because of relationships you see that it's very very important you invest in your relationship by praying for the people you may have heard me say this the greatest way to invest in a relationship if you do not have value to offer is gratitude write it down gratitude is an investment that never fails you are looking for a fail proof investment i give you one for this year gratitude invest in gratitude first before you invest in real estate where real estate fails gratitude will keep it back up in this kingdom you have heard me say who hates you does not matter but who likes you really matters believe me if everybody hates you you are in trouble don't say it doesn't matter it really matters if everybody hates you you are in trouble satan is excelling today because it's not everybody that hates him i hope you know that 
he said don't be afraid for i have many men in that city in the multitude of kings men not gold is the king's honor every other thing finds its value on earth because it is connected to men what you call business is not transacting products it is simply men because men are the only ones that give value to whatever be becomes valuable what you call value is with respect to the desire of men so if men do not like a typewriter even though you have the ability to type it no longer becomes valuable not because the skill is useless but the men who need it are not interested again do not ignore men many believers hate men and they say all i have is true when you are saying all you need is jesus you are right but in the cosmos the earth has he given to the sons of men there are people you need to swallow your pride and go and say sorry to this year if not you will suffer as if god did not prophesy to you i hope you know that there are people who are not castable you cannot bind and cast them they are gatekeepers even if they are cyruses <laughs> When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes, there are some enemies you can't cast away. God will have to make them like you. How do you cast Pharaoh from his throne to become the prime minister? No. Pharaoh must like you, Joseph, to bring you to the throne. Esther, how do you cast away Ahasuerus? By prayer and fasting? No. The prayer and fasting is to make Ahasuerus like you. Is someone learning now? invest in strategic relationships someone who pays your rent you forget his birthday and say i forgot you know the meaning of that because many believers pastor are careless everybody's in their outer court it doesn't matter who no compartmentalize your life there are people who represent destiny defining relevance to you don't generalize them love everybody but don't be ashamed of prioritizing people especially because of the the track record of the investments they've made in your life an example of such is your pastor bless him pray for him invest in his life sow into his life it's true don't mind people don't allow anybody to deceive you and keep you poor and you fail in life and cry as if Jesus did not die for you these are the principles they walk if you follow them. Are we together? Yes.